Well, welcome, welcome, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for um, joining me virtually today. Uh, I, first of all, want to thank uh, the people interested in Quantum Universal Education for the opportunity to speak to you today um, and also congratulate them on their one year anniversary. It's been really cool to see kind of how this group has grown and evolved over time. And I know that there's lots of cool things in store uh, in, in the future. <laughs> so um, yeah, let me uh, hop over to my quick slides here. But uh, yeah, my name is Dr. Sarah Kaiser. Um, my goal here today is to kind of teach, uh, to tell you a little bit about the quantum open source community um, and kind of how you might um, be able to kind of fit in, leverage that uh, as a resource to your kind of quantum educational track or, or your involvement in the quantum, quantum space. Uh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Um, so as you might guess, I work at the Unitary Fund. Um, I'm a technical staff member there and the quantum community lead. Um, my background is I have a PhD in quantum computing stuff, specifically um, experimental quantum optics, but I've kind of evolved over time to doing a lot more software development. And so now I do a lot of general quantum software development. I do live coding on Twitch. Uh, I write books about programming quantum computers as well as books for babies. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, through most of this, uh, I have a large German shepherd named Chewy, who basically is my constant manager while I am working from home. So <laughs> uh, he likes to join me on stream and stuff too. So, uh, but on to how can we actually build this, you know, we have all of these new quantum technologies coming up, stuff is evolving really rapidly. How can we actually build quantum technology together? Um, one of the really cool things I find about the quantum, um, quantum technology ecosystem is that a lot of it's open source. So that, you know, hasn't historically been true in like classical computing usually proprietary source is like your main way to monetize things but you know especially with early stage technologies like this having open source tools that everybody can kind of see how it works uh, riff on it make you know make modifications it's a really good kind of tool to help grow the field and so you know even from things as early as q-tip to pretty much every commercial platform, whether it's Q Sharp from Microsoft, Circ from Google, Qiskit from IBM, like all of these tools are open source and you can just, if you're not sure how something works, go look at, <laughs> go look at the actual code. Um, and as we've seen with the classical computing community, open source communities, like in general, like the Python community or um, the Julia community, like all of these are really cool communities that have, you know, do a lot to kind of support the participants, uh, support the projects that use them. And so, you know, we don't really, haven't really had something like that in quantum computing. So maybe this is a good time to start <laughs> given we have all these open source tools. So this is kind of where the unitary fund comes in. Um, you know, we're, so we're a nonprofit uh, that basically our goal is to help build a quantum ecosystem that b benefits the most people. Um, we started two, three years ago and have um, kind of a handful of full-time staff, some part-time folks, and we do kind of two main things. <laughs> One is we give out micro grants. Um, these are no, uh, no requirements for the application. Literally anyone can apply. Um, and they're $4,000, like no strings attached <laughs> to work on open quantum technology projects. So this includes some of the obvious things like actual, um, compilers, simulators, software tools, but it also includes things like open educational materials and communities. Um, actually even people interested in quantum universal education, uh, actually is one of our, our grantees on the community side. So if you have any questions about this process, feel free to ask them as well. Um, but uh, so that, that's kind of one side of, of what we do here. And the other side is we actually have our own software development teams. So uh, which we call Unitary Fund Labs. And we kind of given what we see existing in the ecosystem uh, for quantum software tools, we kind of 
can see where there might be things missing and that's where we tend to use our development time to help fill gaps and so currently we're working on a project called Mitic, which i'll tell you a little bit more in a minute but um, that also allows us to like collaborate with academic folks we write papers you know any anything that like kind of a normal academic group does we also do <laughs> Um, and all of these efforts are really supported by um, kind of our corporate sponsors. Um, since we are a nonprofit, we don't really have anything to sell or monetize. We rely on the generosity of these um, groups. So um, just to kind of give you a sense of how, how prolific these grants, uh, how many of these grants we've uh, given out, we've given out over 50 projects uh, of these or 50 micro grants um, and with that you know fairly small um, investment comparatively uh, we've generated a ton of impact in the open source space looking at like uh, contributors um, stars like usage of these projects um, as well as things like there have been two startups that have come out of uh, these micro grants so you can you can use these micro grants to like kickstart a, a startup idea you have. We have over, um, I think it's numbers closer to 10 now, uh, folks that were not in the quantum computing space that now have full-time jobs in quantum computing, um, basically off of the work that they did for their micro grants usually. Um, we give out these micro grants all over the world. <laughs> like we can, we can work with anyone from literally any country, get you the money and help support what you're working on. And these projects also, because there's a lot of research involved, also generate publications, uh, which is really great, you know, for folks who are in academia who applied for these. Um, yeah, and they've been published in all kinds of different journals. But uh, yeah, so that, just to kind of give you a sense of, of the impact that these, um, that these micro grants can have. And I wanna just take a second and say, uh, you, like these, the micro grant program is, uh, pretty easy to apply for. It's about seven minutes. Um, you basically write things like what, you know, a short abstract for what the project is, how would you spend the money, um, and there's usually like a, a two, there's a two-minute video that you kind of just use to like introduce yourself and give like a short elevator pitch for the project. But yeah, you can see examples on our website. Uh, on the grants tab to see kind of what other projects have been funded and we also have a good FAQ on the website too for questions about the application or the project process stuff in general. All right so to talk a little bit more about the unitary lab stuff that we do, um, MITIC is basically a, um, well we all know that quantum computers have errors and especially with near-term hardware we're probably not going to get around that. And so MITIC is a um, cross-platform compiler that can take uh, the circuits that you want to run, run it on the back ends, whether it's a simulator or hardware, um, and kind of give you more robust answers. So it's not quite fully um, fault tolerant, but it kind of gives you a nice middle ground without adding too much overhead to get you better estimates of uh, what you're trying to measure. Um, so yeah, you can, you can check out on our docs uh, for, for all this stuff. But um, also, if you want to learn more, we actually, on our, the Unitary Fund Discord, uh, we do our kind of all of our <laughs> group meetings um, where we discuss the issues, talk about our progress, uh, all open in the community. So if you ever want to join and just lurk and listen to stuff, or um, we've actually had a lot of folks kind of join, hear how things go down, and then actually start contributing. So since the beginning of the year, we've added uh, about 20 new contributors to the project, and most of them from this kind of process of just seeing how this works, seeing how software dev works or how development in quantum works. Um, but I encourage you to, to check it out. Um, it's, I, it's, it's really fun. <laughs> um, and we also occasionally do events uh, kind of um, to encourage contributions to some of these pro the research projects and stuff in particular. Uh, we just ran one called Unitary Hack recently. And it was super cool. We had over 60 contributions to these projects. Um, so to give you again, kind of a, an, a, a feeling for what the, um, software projects that we support, uh, things like simulators, uh, working on like quantum networking, circuit synthesis. Um, we just recently released a new paper for, for the mythic stuff. Um, 
and uh, we also support uh, all kinds of open source education things, uh, open it, uh, open textbook on quantum algorithms, a fairy tale book about quantum tales, <laughs> like that's quantum algorithms adapted to fairy tales. Um, and the community efforts, you know, include things like quantum universal education, qubit by qubit, QWorld, all these groups are doing really great things all over the world to help kind of grow uh, the quantum workforce, the quantum education space. They're just, you know, having that really positive impact to make quantum accessible to everyone. So these are the kind of projects that we really like to support. So how can you actually help us grow the open quantum community? Uh, some pretty easy ones. <laughs> you can spread the word. Uh, apply for a grant if you have an idea. Even if you're not sure if it's a good idea, you can ask us on our Discord or um, just kind of get some get some feedback. Um, we always iterate on the grant process too, so even if you get uh, reject, we always give try to give good feedback so you can make it a better application that we can accept. Um, you can also write code for some of these projects, and you can uh, learn from others and mentor uh, mentor folks on the our Discord. That's kind of our primary community hub. So. That's discord.unitary.fund. So yeah, if you have any other questions, I'm sorry I can't kind of hang out in the social section today, but uh, yeah, please feel free to ping uh, me either on Twitter or on Discord uh, or Unitary Funds, Twitter, or Discord, and uh, yeah, let's make it welcoming and safe for everyone to contribute to the quantum technology space. <laughs>